Good morning, everyone. Here we are on June the 22nd. Yay! And it's so beautiful, I decided to try something different. I'm out on our back porch. Family's all still asleep. It's unbelievable. Kids don't usually sleep, sleep in this late. But uh, they're all still sound asleep, and it's a beautiful day out. And I thought, hey, I'll do this outside today. So I've done my devotions this morning. I still did the praying and dancing and praising and everything inside. <laughs> I'm not at that stage yet going <laughs> to perform outside, but uh, yeah, but the Bible reading and it's this beautiful day. So as we're um, finishing off Proverbs today, um, I, I, I'm struck. There, there's a lot of good stuff in here, and of course we have the whole thing about the Proverbs 31 uh, woman and, and everything. It's all it's all good here. So you're going to take out of it what you, what you want to take out of it. But what really struck me. Um, was how Proverbs 30 proves that there's really nothing new under the sun. When he, when he says, I'm tired, God. I'm tired, God, and I'm exhausted. And then he says, actually, I'm too stupid to be human. A man without understanding. I haven't learned wisdom, nor do I have knowledge of the Holy One. Well, that, except for that last part. But, I mean, we, we have that whole thing, don't we? tired, exhausted, and feel so stupid sometimes, we feel like we have no idea what's going on, and uh, we lack a lot of wisdom. And um, we, we can be very hard on ourselves, very critical of ourselves, and, and, and there's times where we have to be honest with ourselves and look at it and say, yeah, I messed up, I messed up, I was really stupid over this, I really messed up. And uh, other times we just got to acknowledge that uh, in life we're going to have these moments uh, but God is good. He's always good. Uh, we may have these moments, but uh, He sustains us, and, and that's that's the whole thing. It's it, He goes on and He says down here, um, all all God's words are tried and true, a shield for those who take refuge in Him. All God's words are tried and true, a shield for those who take refuge in Him. Just let those words wash over you. I don't know what kind of condition you're waking up to this morning. Uh, I don't know if you blew it yesterday. I don't know if you blew it last night or whether you've already blown it this morning. Um, but listen to the words. All God's words are tried and true. That means that uh, everything that God has already put in place, um, people have checked it out. People have tried it. They've lived according to it, and they found it to be true. All the people before us have found it to be true. They have found that God is faithful, and, he, and He's true to His word. He's true to His promises. Um, and, and these things, this, uh, these commands that have been put in place, they they, they are honestly work. They they make life um, function. They just allow us to function in life. And um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. There's there's things that we don't fully understand. There's things that people are going through right now, and it, it's more than just a situational. Uh, it's environmental. Um, people's uh, brains are being changed because of the the chemicals and everything that's being used all around us. We can't expect to use dangerous chemicals and things and, and not have it affect people, and and have people succumb to to uh, emotional. Uh, on mental um, things that, that that take more than just um, um, they're real. These are real things. These are these are real things. Real things people are facing, and um, it takes consistent prayer. It, it takes. We have to believe. We have to believe that God's word is true, and and it's not a one-off. You don't just pray over somebody and uh, and then walk away. Um, sometimes it's fervent prayer. Sometimes it's ongoing. Sometimes it's uh, multiple times. It's, uh, sometimes it's 20 years. Sometimes we, 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 we don't have a complete understanding of all of these things, but we do know that God's word has been tried, and it's true. It's tried, and it's true. There's a reason why Jesus said that, that he wouldn't leave us. There's a reason why he said that he goes with us. Because we were never intended to do this by ourselves, and I've been there. I've, I've, unfortunately, I've been through burnout more than once. And and we're not saying, oh yeah, I've been tired. That's not what burnout is at all. 
uh, burnout, you get to a place where you can't function, you can't think, you can't process. Um, nothing works properly. Even you, even emotionally, you, emotionally, you can't process. Uh, it's a terrible place to be. And quite often, it, it's it, it, it's because of us. It's it's because we're attempting to do things that are beyond us that we're supposed to do in the strength of the Lord, and we take it on ourselves and we try to do God things ourselves and and we don't we don't complete it and and it breaks us and um we have to be very careful he's with us for a reason he's with us because we can't do this by ourselves it, it is a partnership it's a partnership that we're involved in it's a wonderful mysterious partnership that we're involved in um and his word is tried and true his word is tried and true a, a shield for those who take refuge in him shield for those who take refuge in him. We take refuge in him all the time and it's okay. It's okay to come in and say, Lord, I'm tired. Oh, this has been quite a day. Lord, I am emotionally exhausted from this day. Um, we're not, we are not, um, how, how can you say it? We, we're not Teflon steel. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, <laughs> but we're not Teflon steel. Um, Things just don't slide off of us. They, they don't. We are emotional creatures. We're, we're compassionate creatures. We're merciful creatures because that's the way God has, has made us. See, he, he has shaped us after the, the Father's heart. Uh, and we're, we're supposed to, that we are supposed to also surrender those things. It's an emptying out. It's a giving over. Lord, I can't do anything for them. So I surrender them into your hands. I petition for them. Lord, these are their needs and, and you fight for them. Um, if you if you try to if you try to meet if you try to rescue everybody, they call it a martyr's complex. Uh, no, sorry, messiah, a messiah a martyr's complex. Sorry, a messiah complex. Uh, we're, we we can't. We carry the presence. We carry the answers. We carry these things in these situations, but it will always be people's decisions, um, and 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 we can't own their decision. Uh, we we can only own. Uh, our faithfulness to the task that has been given to us. So, um, yeah, we can be honest. We can be honest with him. The Psalms should prove that to us. We can be honest with him. He wants us to be honest. It's the only way things get repaired in us. It's the only way that we get renewed is by being honest with him. Lord, today I'm tired. Lord, I need you. I need your energy. I need your strength. And, and he renews us and he blesses us and he encourages us. Um, he supernaturally renews us. So, these are things to consider for today. As I sit outside in the sunshine, being renewed by the, the birds all around me. And, wow, that's enjoyable. So, you have a, a great and pleasant day. Um, be strengthened by Him. Be encouraged by Him. It's the, it's the joy of the Lord. It's the joy of the Lord. It's that relationship that we have with Him. Um, and if you're tired, then rest. Rest. Rest in Him. Rest. Um, God is good, and his, and his word is his words are tried and sure. So have an excellent day, and we'll see some of you tonight. God bless.